Hello everyone, welcome to Odoo tutorial by Basim Infotech. We are here to discuss about the basic features of e-learning module in Odoo 15. So let's start. Using this module, we can create courses, configure quizzes and also earn badges while attending this course. Let's take the overview of e-learning module. Here we can see different courses which are already created. By clicking on the create button, we can create a new course. Here we can see a fewer details like total number of reviews, total number of views and the duration which is the time required to complete the course and also total number of contents, total number of attendees and also the number of people who finish this course. By clicking on basics of gardening, we can see the course title and the different tags provided for this course. Here we are giving the title as basics of gardening. And the tags related to it are basic, gardener, quiz, dog friendly, etc. And below it we can see different types like content, description, options, karma. First we will look about the content tab. Here we can add different contents related to this course. Such as gardening, the know-how, the home gardening, mighty carrots, etc. We can also select the type of the content. We can provide certification and we can select it. we can see the duration total number of views and select whether it can be previewed and select whether it can be published or not published by clicking on add a section we can add a new section for example section 1 in this section 1 we can create a new content by clicking on add a content a window we can see a window we can provide the required details like here I am giving the content title as demo and we can provide the required tags such as theory. Here also we can see different tabs like document, description, additional resources, quiz and statistics. In, in the document tab we can select the type such as infographic, web page, presentation, document etc. If we click on the document, there is a provision for uploading file. If we click on the video, we can see the option for attaching document URL. In the description tab, we can provide a description related to this content. In the quiz tab, we can give rewards to the user. For example, we can give 10 points to the first attempt, 7 points to the second attempt, 5 points to the third attempt and so on. Here we can see an option for adding questions. By clicking on add a line, we can add a new question. For example, How many times do we need to water the plants? We can select different options like here we are providing two options two times and three times we can select the correct option here I am selecting two times as the correct option now save and close now we had added the question let's move to the statistics tab here it provides the statistical description of the content we created such as the total members, public, etc. By clicking on save and close, we can create the new content. Thus our new content is created. We can see it in the section 1. Now let's move to the description. Here we can provide the description of the course we created. Here I am providing as learn the basics of gardening. Next is the important tab named options. Here we can select the responsible uh, which means who is responsible for this course and we can see an option for selecting website. Here we can restrict the course to particular website. Uh, next is communication. Here we can select whether it allows rating or not. Then there are access rights in enrolled policy such as public, on invitation, on payment, etc. And we can also set the visibility to public or members only. 
Now let's move to the karma tab. Here we can set karma rules for different uses. For example, if you review the course, you can give 5 points. If you finish the course, you can get 10 points. Then by adding review, you will get 10 points and adding comment, 3 points. And after voting, you will be awarded 3 points. So these are all the tabs in basics of gardening. After creating the course, we had to publish it in the website. So click on the go to website option on seen above. Here we can see the website. In this we can see the details like the contents, the reviews. We can see all the contents that we created earlier. And also the responsible person, the completion time, the total members etc. We can also view this website on clicking the view course which is seen in the e-learning e overview. Here also we can add a content, add section. Also there is provision for deleting a content. So this is all about e-learning module. Thank you.